Hello and welcome to HappilyEducated.com. So with the completion of my dissertation and the birth of my baby, I have definitely entered a new stage in life. And this transition has given me a pretty ample opportunity to reflect on what's important to me and what I want to do with myself going forward, um, how I want to live my life, really. So in this post, I'm just going to tell you a bit about that process of self-reflection and what that's meant to me uh, and what I plan to do in the near future. So as I mentioned in my post on resource flows in social networks, I now think of pretty much everything in terms of resources. And in the social network analysis tradition, that term resource can really refer to anything that passes from one person to another. Now, unsurprisingly, I have used enormous quantities of resources in my life, both musical and non-musical. Uh, and really, probably I've used more than my fair share when considered from a global perspective. Now, of course, I am very, very grateful to have had access to these resources. And I wish that I could adequately express this gratitude to the people who actually provided these resources. But unfortunately, it's not such a straightforward task to account for resource flows and distribution. Um, you know, many of the opportunities and advantages that I've benefited from have really been made available to me simply because of the social position I occupy. And now that I recognize this, um, you know, I'd like to do something to try to basically rebalance the, re or the resource distribution scales in my own life. Or in other words, since I've used more than my fair share of resources already, I want to really focus my energies on trying to give back in some way. So for the most part, it's not practical to try to literally pay back the people who have provided me with resources in the past. So instead, I plan to focus on trying to pay it forward, as it were. Um, you know, this has required me to think quite a bit about what resources I have that could be shared or given away, uh, and who might actually benefit most from these resources. As I see it, my most valuable portion of resources are my time, energy, money, knowledge, skills perhaps, and social connections. Um, and thanks to my dissertation research, I now recognize that my personal resources are finite, so I'd better be very, very, very careful about how I spend them. Now, if resource exchanges take place during social interaction, which they do, and I want to consider how I can um, spend my resources most effectively, I need to figure out who I interact with and who I want to interact with. Now, definitely on a regular basis in general, I interact with family and friends to some extent, colleagues and students. And then in more sort of infrequent or passing encounters, I, in, I interact with casual acquaintances or complete strangers as well. You know, for example, the grocery store clerk. So obviously it wouldn't be practical or appropriate to provide the same resources or the same quantities of resources for all these people. You know, I mean, it would be just weird to give the same amount of time and attention to the grocery store clerk as I give to my son and husband. Um, but I also think for my mental health and theirs, there's a limit to how much of my time and attention should go to Jeff and Dax. Now, it's also, also worth considering which of the people that I interact with have plenty of resources already and who might actually need some more, who might benefit from having some more. My, most of my students, for example, come from fairly affluent and supportive families and really they have all the resources they could possibly need or want. And I also know quite a few people, I shouldn't say quite a few, I know some people who basically squander the resources they have. And from my perspective, this is totally, totally not okay. Uh, you know, in a world where resources are scarce, waste is simply inexcusable. So you're probably wondering where I'm going with all of this. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, as regular readers or viewers of this blog will know, I am very, very concerned about environmental issues and specifically climate change. And I see climate change as basically the most critical issue of our time. Uh, and I figure that music teaching will soon become irrelevant if the planet heats up too much more. So basically, I've decided that in the interest of doing the most good with the limited resources I have, I need to pretty much put my music education specific career goals on hold for the time being uh, to focus more 
intensely on climate change activism in some form or another. Now, although music teachers can certainly make a positive difference in the world and can, can do good in many, many ways, um, you know, I'd just like to take a more direct approach to addressing some of the world's big issues for the time being. And of course I will continue teaching because one, I like my students, and two, it's how I pay the bills. Um, but I'm not going to make any effort to try to get some prestigious job or try to make a name for myself in the world of music education, as would be expected of a you know, newly minted PhD. So I don't know yet know what exactly what form my climate change activism is going to take. Uh, over the past few months, I've been sort of investigating different options uh, to see what seems the most appropriate for me. But I really haven't figured out what form of activism will allow me to make the most of the resources that I have. I have one particular idea that I'm very, very excited about, um, mainly because it would allow me to address multiple issues that I'm concerned about at the same time. But I haven't yet figured out if that idea is actually practical or doable, so I'm going to just keep it to myself for now. Um, I also don't know what this future plan means for this blog. Uh, you know, really, I'm just not sure how much time I'm going to have available to me for blogging. Um, although I've accumulated a long, long list of topics that I'd like to talk about in blogs, and actually a, a viewer or reader, I don't know which, um, just contacted me about a week ago asking for a, a post on willpower. Um, I've just got too much other thing, too many other things going on right now in my brain, and I don't have a lot of time to spend on thinking about all that other stuff or those those blog-related topics that I had in mind. So, I'm definitely not going to stop blogging, but I make absolutely no promises about how frequently my posts, my new posts, will be coming from here on in. One thing I will say is that I feel very, very good about the decision that I've made. Um, although certainly, you know, when I've told people what my plans are after graduation, I've gotten a few raised eyebrows and that kind of thing. But this path feels very right to me. Um, you know, I've been worried about climate change for a long time and really haven't done much of anything about it. And I recognize that my efforts made do little to no good in terms of actually preventing some kind of major climate change crisis, but at least I will know that I've done the best I can, and someday when my son, oh gosh, I'm going to make myself cry, but anyway, someday when he's looking back at this, um, he'll know that I've done the best I can, and that's really important to me. So, anyway, uh, enough for today. Um, bye, and happy learning.